Hello world. Taking a moment to introduce myself since apparently my name is the buzz on everybody's lips. Or so I'm told. Heard some pretty disturbing things about myself that I didn't even know. Uh, so I was just taking a moment before I introduced myself to do some meditating, because that's my thing. I meditate, I center myself, I focus on positivity and light and joy and spreading that, because that's just who I am. I've been uh, enjoying this Christmas gift very, very dear friend of mine gave me. I just asked to borrow a book for the holidays. He said he'd love to hug me up. And when he left his house, he forgot to grab one. That man spent his day going to the bookstores in the library, digging and digging and digging for books. Something he thought would be worthy of my holiday to help me relax and be myself, just explore science, nature, spirituality, things that I love. It's called The Hidden Face of God, How Science Reveals the Ultimate Truth, by Gerald L. Schroeder, author of The Science of God. It's exactly the book I wanted he told me about this book. Very me. I love it. Right up my alley. It's the type of thing that good people do for each other. It's a good gift. It's a library book. It's got to go back. I don't get to keep it. I get to keep the experience. That's what's important in life is experiences. Experiencing things in life, knowledge, wisdom, love. Can't take anything else with you. Why would you want anything else? Speaking of which, love. I have what's called universal love. I love all beings. I love everyone. I do. And it's in everything that I do. I'm in the healthcare industry, have been for many years. I've got a degree in human services from a tribal college where I set the bar with my 4.0 almost every single semester. I was a student ambassador. I was the student senate treasurer. And not only was I that, I was approached by the Senate, the pre-existing Senate, and asked to fill that spot. And until I graduated, ran unopposed, and even filled the emptied seats after others vacated them. I've competed in speech, persuasive speech, on the importance of cultural diversity and teaching children about their own culture, their own heritage, and that of the local indigenous around them. It is very important to be in touch with your own heritage and that and that of the area around you. Now me, for instance, I'm not Native American, but I live in the land of the La Pointe Band. This is my son's land, La Pointe Band. See, my son's daddy, he's from Red Cliff, excuse me. Now I know a lot of you locals have been hearing things that have been coming out of my mouth, supposedly. And you're like, who is this? Well, she's just a homebody. She does her job single mom, takes care of a little boy, the one single most important thing in her life. One. Okay. 
you know, part of me, if I go off on a tangent, just because that's just who I am. That's how I am. That's how I've always been. No. Just a homebody. I like to read, paint, stuff like that. Mm. I've known my, my son's father since I was eight years old. We go way back. Now, recently, in many months, the last several months, I've been branching out, trying to meet new people. Got on some dates, met some gentlemen, a couple of them. Great, great guys from all over. A couple local here, Ironwood, Superior, Duluth. Uh, some great guys, really great guys. One thing about me, I get along really, really well with men. I'm too scared. I am. I'm too scared. I'm just an interpreter for people. It's just something I do. I can get along well with both. And the guys in my life, no matter how they've come in and out of my life, they, uh, they always, no matter what, have my back. My friends, my real friends, the loyal ones. Even my son's father, who I'm not married to anymore, haven't been for six years. But 11 years ago when I was a kid, and we did get married, we were friends. And we are now. I've had a friend request in my inbox from my ex-husband for several weeks now. And uh, to the <laughs> to the hooker who contacted my ex-husband, who's been starting all this crap about me in this town where I put my roots for my son, for his roots. Really? Why are you hating so bad? All you did was bring my ex-husband and his woman and I closer together. You know why? Because you are threatening the safety, security, and livelihood of our child. The things that you're having spread about me are going to make it so that I can't do my job in the healthcare industry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I don't have anything to worry about because I didn't do anything wrong. Anybody can investigate me anytime they want. Anybody can come in my house. They can come in with that drug sniffing dog, that canine unit that I voted for. <laughs> and it, thank you. Thank you, by the way, for the evidence against that pervert Zakovic. <laughs> Not only did that pig 30 minutes after I signed my lease come in my home and approach me for sex with my child right there without me inviting him in my door that I just paid for. Now I have physical evidence that he is divulging confidential information about me thank you now I have another reason to take my inheritance money that I'm gonna be getting very soon from my grandmother who did you notice that stalkers by the way you've been stalking me for how many weeks did you notice did you realize that my grandmother passed away but you're sociopaths from everything that I've heard about you guys. So that doesn't matter to you at all. So anyways, I'm getting inheritance money, right? A little chunk. It's all right. It's going to help me fix my, uh, my little bit of issues that I have. Like the two broke down cars that I can't fix. One sitting in my driveway. The other one in my grandfather's garage waiting to be fixed. Why won't I, why don't you just sell one of them and pay for some, the other one to get fixed? 
Hmm. It's called sentimental value. Okay. I don't, uh, one second. I don't, uh, I don't hold treasures here on this earth, but I do hold sentimental value. Things, things that help to bring up memories, like my cars. One car from my grandmother, the one that recently passed. And one card from my grandfather. Well, so sentimental to me. I don't have to let them go. I can fix them eventually. I'm handy. I like learning how. Shoot, I've changed my own ball joints. I learned how. I know how to change my oil. I know how to do all sorts of stuff. And I'll learn how to fix those too. Back to my point, when I get my inheritance money, I'm getting an attorney. Not only am I taking care of the other BS that I'm dealing with in my life, now I'm going to deal with you. You're harassing me, and I'm coming after you. That's it. My grandmothers, both of them. Okay. Strong, intelligent, poised, decorum, class, full of sass. My grandmothers were ladies frosted in diamonds that rolled with roughnecks, and they taught me best. I'm a good girl. Sorry. Everybody makes a few mistakes here and there in their lives, but you know what? I'm just a little hip hippy chick in search of her then. Trying to raise her son to be the next generation to take care of this world that he's inheriting. I happen to have security clearance from the United States government to be able to place foreign exchange students in the United States and to find students to send overseas. Now mind you, I didn't renew this year, but that just happens to be how secure I am. I'm educated, I'm intelligent, I know how to survive. I love the woods, I love the forest. I've been in the trees, called a friend. And I'm not afraid of anything. One, I haven't done anything wrong to anyone in any aspect of my life. Two, I am no pin cushion. No one gets to abuse me or anyone else as long as I'm around. I will not be subject to criminal abuse and neither will anybody else that I know. I'm a mandatory reporter and believe you me, I have reported many people. Someone is abusing someone, be it animal or human or the land or water, or the air, I will report you.